needed to land the overhand. Oh, he's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Bruce Lee and Daniel Hooker. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC. Prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 22 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Daniel the Hangman Hooker. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it Expired off the first round clock. 
Nice way to hide that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right punches there. Kick to the body by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he go parallel, right? That's where the corner. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Second round underway. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with him. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big head kick land. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Single power tie now. Massive knee land. Strikes together, beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, nice right hand. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Really tough. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. They continue to exchange. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, beautiful technique to land the overhand. Oh, he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Oh, big left hook there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. This might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Nice hammer fist. Nice transition into full guard here. We'll see what he chooses to do now. He's going to be trying to pass the half or eventually get the full guard. Full mount, sorry. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Both fighters get up now. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Hooker. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot, and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down, or his opponent's right, going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. A complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Nice kick. He's got to go chase that finish down now. An uppercut in! All right, so the taller fighter lands at me, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying I... A little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's done! He's done! Whoa! It was a good night if that landed. Oh! Man, these guys are falling back and forth. And now he lands a combination. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. Just the way he drew it up here tonight. Saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called to this contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.